Coming up today on NTN, Palin supporters burn textbooks in historic protest. John Edwards to plead not guilty-ish to campaign charges. And Michael Bay promises his new Transformers movie will make just enough sense to make billions. Supporters of Sarah Palin outraged that history texts contradict their candidate's version of Paul Revere's famous ride have taken to setting protest fires fueled with school books. Palin recently raised eyebrows with her rambling and inaccurate explanation of Paul Revere's actions, but her supporters are undeterred. Books are just books. Sarah is Sarah, said one Palin fan busy burning a copy of the ninth grade American History Alive text. If she said Revere shot live monkeys out of his butt, that's what happened. Sarah said it, I believe it, that settles it. Admitting he did some stuff, but it wasn't the real bad stuff, John Edwards says he'd plead not guilty to charges that he improperly used campaign funds to cover up an affair. Yes, I cheated on my wife while she was fighting breast cancer, said the one-time Democratic VP nominee. But I was careful to always use my own money for the cover-up, never any funds from hard-working Americans who expected so much better of me. No trial date has been set. And finally, mega producer Michael Bay says the new Transformers movie will shy away from all that confusing plot business and focus more on random explosions. Bay says in Transformers Dark of the Moon, taking out things like character development and logic in favor of just having stuff blow up at random freed him as an artist and allowed the studio to tap into an underserved demographic. We finally realized we didn't really need any explanation for why stuff was going boom. Now even mouth-breathing idiots who just like loud stuff can have a movie they really get behind. For NTN, I'm Cher Ross. <laughs> you know, I met John Edwards once. He was all like, yeah, and I was like, yo, dude, that's what crack whores are for. You should know, honey. Oh, yeah, well, you should know, honey, back.